Hey there, it's Bree, and this is my December ebook haul. So I am entirely unprepared for this video. Usually I will take notes about the synopsis for these books. However, <laughs> I did not do that. So I'm going to be reading it and then I'll tell you about it. So a lot of times I will download things that I find for free and then I'll completely forget about them. So let's go ahead and do this. So the first book here that I downloaded was The Pool Boy. It's Nashville Neighborhood book number two by Nikki Sloan. So the first book was The Doctor, which I loved and was on my favorites of 2020 list. It was the first Nikki Sloan book I read and then I ended up binging her Filthy Rich American series. And Jen from The Book Refuge told me that this book was really good. Pretty sure all of Nikki's books are on Kindle Unlimited. This one is. So I immediately downloaded it to my Kindle. The only thing I know about this book is that it's an age gap romance and the heroine is older than the hero. So I mean, it's like a pool boy situation. And as is true to form with Nikki Sloan, I'm sure it's super, super steamy and probably just a bit taboo. The next one that I downloaded was The Stopover by T.L. Swan. This is the Miles High Club book number one. Yes, book number one is the first one. This is another one that I downloaded and actually read because of Jen from The Book Refuge. I ended up reading this one and then her favorite book, which is The Takeover, is the next book. I downloaded both of them this month. They're both on Kindle Unlimited, and I'm pretty sure these are on Kindle Unlimited Read and Listen as well, so you're able to listen to it for free if you have Kindle Unlimited, and that's what I ended up doing. Both of these books follow these two brothers. It's actually... I think maybe there's three or four brothers. I'm pretty sure the whole series, each book is gonna follow a different brother. They own this communications company. They're like, it's billionaire romances and both of them have like an enemies to lovers vibe between them. But what I love about it is even though like both of the guys are super powerful in these high powered jobs and they're billionaires and everything. Both of the women held their own, like they don't put up with crap at all. So the power dynamic doesn't feel off in these books. I loved them so much. I will link my recent reads videos where I talk about them down below so that you can get my thoughts on it. Basically the first one, the stopover, the meet cute's really cute because the heroine gets upgraded to first class and the hero is already on first class and that's how they meet and they end up having like this one night together and then like a year goes by and she ends up getting hired at his company. He didn't hire her, but she ends up getting hired there and then that's where they see each other again. So he's like her boss's boss's boss. So that was really good. And then the other one, the hero in it, he is trying to take over the heroine's company. Um, she is a widow mom of three boys and that plays a big part in it and she does not want to sell the company to him because it was her husband's her husband like built it from the ground up and so she kind of hates him so it's enemies lovers thing plus you have the single mom aspect of it they're both really really good really really liked them and then i downloaded that second chance it's getting lucky book number one by megan quinn this one is available on Kindle Unlimited. I downloaded this because it's one of my dad's favorite books from 2020, and I actually really, really liked it. I have a whole reading vlog where I'm reading this book and other books that were his favorites. I'll link that down below too. But this one is a small town romance, and the hero and his brothers have like this curse put on them in the beginning of the book, telling them that they can't find love until they mature or something like that. And he is married in the beginning of the book, and then his wife you find out passes away, like after he gets back from the trip where he gets cursed. And so he thinks it's the curse that happened. So it's not actually as emotional as you would think it would be. This is actually a rom-com and it has a lot of great small town romance vibes to it. It's really good. I liked it a lot. Oh, and the hero is a volunteer firefighter and he meets the heroine. She's like, it's a new to town situation with her. And he meets the heroine because she gets in a car accident and he has, he comes and like rescues her. And then I also had downloaded every single book, like I said, in the the Filthy Rich Americans <laughs> series by Nikki Sloan. This entire series is freaking bananas. <laughs> it is crazy and I love it. It's super, super steamy. It's full of things that I don't normally like. Like it has a very much billionaire reality TV show vibes to it. Like so much drama, so much craziness, but I loved every second of it and I don't normally like books like that. It's so freaking good, so good. I gush about this in my recent reads video too, but which I'll link down below. And then I also downloaded Forbidden Planet. It's Rise of the Gladiator by Cherry Alsop. Someone mentioned this, I think in one of their videos and it's free. And it, as the day I'm filming this, it's currently free. 
And so I downloaded it for free. I think someone mentioned it. I'm so sorry, I can't remember who. So the cover, like when I was first going through this, and I was looking at these covers, I thought this was a book that my husband downloaded to read because it doesn't look like a book that I would normally read, but I think it's mine. Okay, so it says when Captain Nova Artist acquires the services of a dangerous tattooed gladiator, she knows she's taking a risk, but she would do anything for her family. So that just like hearing that, I'm like sold. Obviously this is a fantasy of some sort. Oh, it's a space opera. It says that it's clean though. It says The Rise of Gladiator is a clean, action-packed space opera series. And I'm like, clean? Like, do I wanna read a clean one? I don't know, but it sounds interesting. And I feel like it's a bodyguard romance of some sort also. So like a bodyguard gladiator romance, hello. And then I downloaded the Sinners on Tour boxed set by Olivia Cunning. This was not free, but it was on sale and it may still be on sale. The entire box set was super cheap. I wanna say it was like seven bucks for the whole series. And the reason why I downloaded this was because I was watching a live show, I think on India's channel on India's channel or on Steph's channel, I can't remember. Um, but it was India, Steph, and I think Charles was on it too, and they were talking about the series. I can't remember who was gushing about it. It might have been Steph from Steph Romance Book Talk. I'll link everyone down below, and I'll link that live, live show down below if I can find it. But they were talking about this series, and it's a rock star romance series, and they were saying that they really, really liked it. I'm pretty sure it was Steph said that she really liked it, and so I immediately looked it up on Amazon, and I ended up downloading it. And then... <laughs> I downloaded a book called Mounted by a Monster Under Her Bed by Mina Shea. This gave me a lot of like Seated by Santa vibes. So I did a reading vlog the week of Thanksgiving where I read all Christmas novellas and I read a lot of ridiculous ones and one of them was called Seated by Santa and this one's called Mounted by a Monster Under Her Bed. And I was like, I need to read this. So this one is free on Kindle right now. Obviously it's a romance between a chick and a monster that lives under her bed. It's only 15 pages long, so I'm sure it's nothing like groundbreaking, but I'm here for it. So it says that, so the main character Janie has had a monster under her bed for a long time and it says that Janie's found a unique way to soothe the monster. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so excited. I want to read it like right now, actually. All right, and then this next book is available on Kindle Unlimited. I truly downloaded this just because of the author. So it is The Prince and the Troll. It's Faraway Collection. Yeah, Faraway Collection, and it's by Rainbow Rowell. I love Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell and a couple of her and a few of her other books I really like. So I happen to see that I'm yeah, this was, I want to say this is a newer release because I hadn't heard of it before. This is another short one, I'm pretty sure. But I've never read anything by her that is like fairy tale ish It's only 25 pages. So this is one of those like there's something under the bridge type fairy tales. So I guess a man accidentally drops his phone off of a bridge. It's retrieved by this friendly shape sloshing in the muck underneath. And then from that day forward, they share coffee every morning and then they end up having an unlikely friendship. And I don't know if it's going to be a romance or not, but it actually sounds interesting and it's only 25 pages, so why not? Another one that has a great title. It is The Nine Inch Difference by Chloe Piesch, maybe? I'm not sure if that's how you say her name. This one is a menage that I downloaded for free and I don't know what the nine inch difference is. I don't think I even read the synopsis for this one. It's only 244 pages long. I don't think I even read the synopsis for this, but I was just like, it's called the nine inch difference. It's obviously a menage. Like I need to know what the nine inch difference is. <laughs> so let's do a little, yeah, it's an MFM romance. Oh, it says it's free for a short time. So hopefully it's still free by the time you see this video. It says Benedict is her perfect man with one nine inch difference. Eason anticipates her every need, but he's not human. Wait, is this an alien romance? I can't wait. Apparently the heroine Jolene is done with men. She says no more men, no more relationships. And then she walks into a lifestyle companion dealership. Wait, this might be an AI romance. And she has one goal to purchase a hunky robot capable of giving her hot domination she's craved her entire life. <laughs> I can't freaking wait. We need another smutathon for me to read this. And then Benedict is a billionaire who co-owns the dealership. Oh, and then he's caught off guard when Jolene mistakes him for a robot. Stop, this sounds amazing. I can't freaking wait. So excited about that one. All right, 
And then I also downloaded Filthy Marcellos. It's Lucian by Bethany Chris. This, I can't remember if someone was talking about it or it was just the cover that drew me in. It might've just been the cover that drew me in. This one I downloaded for free. I think it is still currently free. This is part of a series. It's a four book series. This is the first book, I believe. It's only 294 pages long. It almost looks like it's a mafia romance, but I'm not sure. Okay, so Lucian is the oldest son of, okay, it is a mafia romance. So he's the oldest son of a mafia, it looks like. So he's in line to be an underboss. I don't know what that is. I'm not super familiar with mafia romances and what the different like terminologies are. But then he ends up meeting Jordan, she could be the one thing he'd risk it all for. I guess it sounds like, oh, maybe this is a motorcycle club, not mafia. It sounds like she's on the run from another motorcycle club gang or possibly his gang. It sounds like it's a forbidden romance of some sort and it's also a motorcycle club romance. It sounds really good, actually. And then I downloaded Hating the Boss by Kristen Granada. Yeah, Granada, it looks like. This one I downloaded for free. This is an enemies lovers rom-com. Oh, so this is one of those situations where it was supposed to be like a one night stand and then it develops into something more, but then he also turns out to be her boss. <laughs> so it sounds very like Grey's Anatomy to me. And then I also downloaded Seduction Games by Alison Lint. This is a menage romance. It's Game of Cookies, <laughs> book number one. What does that mean? I downloaded it for free. This one's only 157 pages, so it sounds like the main character, Andy, has a cookie business, and unfortunately, it is not doing very well. She also just walked in on her boyfriend cheating on her, and then Kane and Isaiah are her online gaming partners, and I guess they are a couple. And then I guess she they want to like cheer her up or something, and so they invite her to stay with them. So that sounds interesting. All right. All right. And then I downloaded The Necklace. It's by Linda S. Rice. It says The Dusky Club, June 1962. This one I downloaded for free. I don't, June 1962, I don't understand. It's 260 pages long. Oh, it's a time travel romance, it sounds like. It says, what if you could time travel back to the past to meet the man of your dreams for a steamy fantasy romance at a time when it would be possible for him to fall in love with you? What? So that sounds really, really interesting, actually. All right, and then I downloaded Snow Queen, It's Haunted Ballet, book number one by Ava Quintana. This one, I loved the cover of it. I thought it was beautiful. And at first I was like, is this a retelling of like Frozen? It's only 69 pages long, but I love that the series is called Haunted Ballet. So what does that mean? Okay, so this one actually is maybe a retelling of the Nutcracker perhaps, because it says the ballet Sugar Plum Fairy vanished after performing the Nutcracker. And there have been a lot of searches for her, like statewide searches for her. And they, all they found were her ballet slippers. So every year since, another member of the cast has gone missing. It says that it's a sexy romance mystery novella for adults ages 18 plus. Next, I downloaded Vampire King by Joanna Moskowit. I downloaded for free. It's adult fairy tale Cinderella book number one. So this one is a Cinderella retelling, but with vampires. Hello. And then next, I downloaded Lies We Share by Ella Miles. This one sounds like it's just a prologue to one of her books, and I downloaded it for free. I like when authors put like their prologues or novellas that are the beginning of one of their series on like either for free or on Kindle Unlimited. That way you can like try it out and see if you like it. So this one's only 84 pages long. So this sounds like it's a super dark romance because it says, at five years old, I met her, the girl who changed everything she hunted, I killed. Now she hunts for me and I kill for her. What? This sounds amazing. Stop. I am so into like a super dark romance where both the hero and the heroine are kind of messed up. All right, next I downloaded Little Dove. This one is by Casey Decker. This is, it says it's a gritty suspenseful romance and I downloaded this for free. Just the name Little Dove sounds like it could be super creepy. It's 207 pages long, so apparently there's something special about the heroine that could get her killed. Whatever it is, she doesn't talk about with anyone, but it doesn't stop her from trying to snare her neighbor in her devious web. Apparently he is angsty and he's brooding and completely sexy in that scrappy bloody knuckle kind of way. This sounds really good and super, super dark. Casey Decker takes you on a gritty, suspenseful ride through the dark corners of the human psyche. I love it, especially, like I said, at the heroine is one of the people that's kind of messed up. I love that. All right, and then I downloaded Hearts Reclaimed. It's Arter Creek book number one by Isla Asher. The hero is wearing glasses in it. I believe I downloaded this for free. 
It's only 168 pages. So this one sounds like it might be like an emotional kind of angsty contemporary romance. So I guess the heroine has left her cheating fiance behind and goes to the small town called Arter Creek to kind of like revamp her life. She ends up building a new business and she's renovating a house and she is not interested in falling in love. And then you have the hero who apparently lost his family in a tragic accident. Oh no. I guess she is asking him to renovate her house. And at first he says no. So it sounds like it's going to be, yeah, it says a grumpy hero and a feisty heroine. So it sounds like it's going to be like an emotional enemies to lovers, grumpy sunshine type of thing. And then I downloaded on the 24th, I downloaded Hoops Holiday, a holiday collection by Kennedy Ryan. And I did end up reading it that day. This one. I think I downloaded it for free. I don't know that it's not. Yeah, I downloaded it for free. It's still free. This was really good. I really liked this. So the hero and the heroine meet. She is a sports reporter and he plays for a basketball team. He's like uh, about to be in the, ho in the Hall of Fame basketball player. And when she's interviewing him in the locker room, his towel accidentally falls. And like, that's how they meet. And then some time passes, like several years pass. And then they meet each other again later. And it's actually super emotional. Like I, I feel like like I wasn't expecting this to be emotional even though it's part of the hoop series and the hoop series is pretty intense but it ended up being really emotional but also really really good I liked that a lot and it had a super cute meet cute and it's short and then I downloaded two more books in the month of December both of them on New Year's Eve and the first one was Come to Daddy by Brianna Hale this one is Love Don't Cost a Thing duet book number one. I got it for free. I think the reason why I downloaded this was because I saw that it was free and it was by Brianna Hale and I wanted to download it because of the author. It's only 292 pages and apparently it's a sugar daddy romance and I don't think I've ever read one like that. So I'm here for it. I'm pretty sure the heroine is the sugar baby. And then I don't know if the hero is a sugar daddy or if he like stops her from being a sugar baby. I don't know what the situation is, but it's by Brianna Hale. So I'm sure it's going to be interesting. All right. And then I downloaded Same Time Next Year by Jenna Bennett. This one, I think I actually bought. Yeah, I bought it for 99 cents. This is a super short story. I bought this because someone on Instagram had mentioned it to me because I thought that I had to read a couple of more books to reach 350 at the end of the year. Turns out that I didn't actually have to read this one, but I did, and I actually really liked it. So it's about this man and this woman who meet up at this hotel at the same time every year. They go to, they book the same room at the same time every single year, and it's their romance has a little bit of a twist. It's really, really good, super short story. I loved it so much. All right, guys, that's it. Those are all the books that I downloaded to my Kindle this month. Let me know down below if you've downloaded any of these, if you're looking forward to any of these, what you downloaded, all of that good stuff. Let's talk in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, happy reading.